Hey everyone, welcome back to Pamela's Passion for Pencils. Today we are going to color a background together because I purchased some new supplies and I wanted to be able to use them with you guys on camera and show you how to do a background with them at the same time. I got these Mungio, I think it's Mungio, Mungio Pastels, the 64 count and they are the mini ones but I think that even though they're the mini ones they last quite a while they look like this in the package and this is the page I just finished in Jane F. Hankins um, The Imaginary World this is the volume two book. I did a review of it um, on my channel previously if you want to look back and see this book, but it's The Imaginary World of Jane F. Hankins and it's volume two. It's a very nice book and it's got fantastic paper, so I think it's going to do really well when I lay these pastels down. It did really well with my Prismacolor pencils and they laid down beautifully and I was able to get in so many layers and blend these colors and the colors came out so vibrant. I was really impressed with this paper. But today we're going to finish this page up and we are going to do the background together. And let me show you a couple of the other things that I brought along to lay these pastels with. I just got myself from underneath my cabinet some cosmetic brushes and I'm hoping that these will work just as well as anything else but this is what I had on hand you can really use whatever you have on hand with pastels I also for the little corners got myself some q-tips and will probably use those as well like around the clouds and such so I have an idea for this page and I kind of want all of the background to look like sky but those of you that have followed me previously and have seen me do backgrounds the little places where it looks like things are lighting up like I really like to add yellows in there to really kind of make them just kind of glow and pop So what you're gonna do I've got my exacto knife this is what you'll need to kind of take the pastels off or to kind of shave them a little bit so that you can lay them onto the paper. Um, you can use that and then just kind of spread them with your cosmetic brushes or q-tips or if you have those little round ones that you get like in the cosmetic section those work really well just as well too. Okay so I think I am going to start with a yellow. Let me just show you our color choices here. And this one looks kind of like a cream. It got, when I opened them, they were kind of thrown around in the package. But I don't know. I think I like either this yellow or this yellow because I want it to be kind of bright around like the moon and the stars. And then we're going to come back with a blue and fill it in to make it look like a background sky around the clouds in the chair and such. Um, let me, hmm, I think I'm just going to pick one because these look, these two yellows look really close. I don't know, this one, actually this one looks a little brighter. Now I can see the color on my fingers. <laughs> these are really messy, that's why I have a paper towel laying here underneath my um, my work area so that I don't mess up my desk but they're already getting all over the place not even on my desk so if you're gonna use these and you want to play around with these just make sure you cover your work area so I instead of shaving this am going to just kind of lay the pastel down onto the paper where I want it so that it's more precise or maybe you know what maybe I could try something else maybe if I just rub a little bit off onto the q-tip so that I could do it in the smaller areas let's see how that works and then apply it to the paper 
this might actually work really it does work now see I've watched some videos on YouTube and I've not seen anybody else do it this way but this works so well look at that so I want the yellow everywhere I have the stars and just like what I've showed you guys before or previously in the um, you know when I show you how to use the Jane Davenport ones to make the colors more bright and vibrant you just kind of layer them and you apply more so I want to do that there around that star and then of course I want it to make it look like my moon is glowing am I the only one that just loves yellow it's such a bright and happy color I love applying yellow to my coloring pages as you can see my chair is yellow because I really wanted it to stand out with the blue clouds but I really enjoy coloring this and the paper in this book made it even more so fun to color because it just took my pencils so well and it's taking the uh, pastels really well too that looks really good okay so let's see we've got some more stars over here so let me make sure you guys are in frame and we'll lay it here I love this idea I came up where I just stick the q-tip right onto the pastel if you guys notice I saved the mess <laughs> so I didn't really get the mess because of that but look at this I'm laying it just right over the pencils and look how nicely it goes down and it looks like it's glowing right over the cloud that is so cool but I want my yellow kind of bright so that it really stands out that's why I'm laying down just a little bit more I wonder if the other yellow is brighter that came with these Should the moon be shining brighter? Now don't worry, like if you want to experiment with these pastels and you want to lay down more than you thought you would, but then you want to come back and be like, oh no, that doesn't look good there, and you want to take it out, these pastels erase really well. Let me show you. So if you ever feel like you've laid down too much pigment with your pastels they erase really nicely even on this paper so you could just come in here and just erase it right off and look it's gone that is the one really fantastic thing about pastels is you lay them down and they come right back off you just need an eraser but when you do um, apply your eraser to your page make sure that you have or that you don't have any old color from something else you've erased on the tip of your eraser because if you do that's going to come off on your page so you just want to be careful about that so I really didn't want to erase that I wanted to just show you guys how it works so I'm gonna put that back in because I liked it there <laughs> and I really like that color I think that's all we're going to do with the yellow I'm wondering if this other one 
is brighter. It looks like it might be a little bit darker. Let me lay a little bit of that too. Oh, it is. And look how these blend together. They blend so nicely. So I'm going to do this one just around the outside and then that way or the inside closer to each star and then it could look as it gets you know like it gets lighter as it comes out oh yes this one is much brighter and I'm really loving that how these q-tips are working with the pastels so if you want to do a bigger area and you're not worried about the mess then you can use the exacto knife and shave the pastels off so now I want to come in with a blue and here, let me show you our choices of blues. Um, I wonder which one would be closest to like looking like the sky. This one here looks like it has a lot of teal in it, but then some of them look like they would be too dark. Hmm, maybe this. Oh, or this one. This is pretty. Or is that purple? Let me try it here on another Q-tip and see what it looks like. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Let me see what it looks like here. Because we could always take it off. I don't know, it almost looks like it has gray to it. It's pretty though, maybe we could mix that with one of the other blues. Okay, so we have that blue. Should we make like a dark night sky maybe? What about something like this one? Now this will be really dark, but we could kind of lighten it up. Did you all see what I did over there on the napkin? That actually might work. And then we could kind of blend some of the lighter in with it maybe. Okay, let's try this and see. Oh yes, this is the one. This is the one. Okay, so I want to cover a bigger area. So I think I am just going to shave a little bit of this right onto my background. I just did a very tiny bit and I don't want that on there. I'm probably going to have to come back and get that off, but probably should have done the background first. Oh, see, applying it this way, it seems to apply a lot less. Oh, that was the wrong color. So I want it to look darker like it did over here when I did it with the Q-tip. Oh, this is pretty. 
You have to be really careful to keep it off of your actual coloring in the areas that you don't want it. And I got some here, so I'm going to have to come back and I'm going to have to fix that, which is not a problem to me. I've got so many layers there that it'll probably just erase right off for me without taking up the Prisma pencil. And if it takes up the pencils, that's okay, because I could always go back and fix that too. Don't ever feel like you've messed something up when you're coloring, because everything is fixable. And see, we're just going to kind of put it right into that yellow. I'm probably going to come back with some Q-tips to get in a little bit closer, or maybe I won't. I kind of like the white, the way the white frames around each, like the clouds and such, and the bird. But these cosmetic sponges are working really well. Kind of spreads it out a little bit more. Okay, so let's come down a little bit further. Again, I'm going to lay a very little bit because I'm kind of close to that cloud and I don't want to get it on another cloud. Remember that these pastels do come right off. So don't be fearful of them. Probably better off with the Q-tip here. But the way it lays down is much different in the I don't know if you want to call it a pattern or whatever that it makes, but it looks more, much more like a sky. So over here, I want to be very careful of getting it, not getting it in my clouds. So I am just going to, again, put some on my Q-tip and then get into these small areas and kind of blend it in with that yellow. I may need to come back again with the yellow See, I'm kind of coming down in here because I want it to blend into the clouds. So yeah, all these little small areas, I would use a Q-tip. Oh, I love how this is turning out. See, we're almost done. So now we just need to do the other side. Are you guys in frame? Yep. So let's just come in here and go around this cloud because, of course, I don't want to get any more in my cloud that I'm already going to have to fix. And I want to come right in here so that that blue kind of blends right in to where I place the yellow. Yeah, I like the way these Q-tips lay it down much better than, um, than the makeup sponge. But maybe I'll come back over here since I have a bigger area and I'll shave a little bit off. And then I'll do it with the makeup sponge and then I'll come back again. With the uh, Q-tip to kind of give it the little bit of that different texture that the Q-tip provides. 
but you're basically just going all around and just kind of blending it out or, or blending the uh, pastel into the paper and this paper is working really well it's picking up the pastels really well see I still had some up here and those ones on my cloud I just kind of blew them off because I don't want any more accidents <laughs> So and now I'm going to come back with my Q-tip and I'm going to just do a little bit of this because I kind of like that effect where it kind of looks spotty. I love that. Can you see that on camera? I hope so. I want it to just kind of look darker in certain areas. got to get in some of these smaller areas where I couldn't get in before. We'll see how I kind of have, um, I'm only using the one blue, but it still looks like I've kind of used two because I'm just applying it darker in certain areas. And I really love how that looks. It just looks like a natural, more natural sky to me. So you don't always have to completely blend it out. It really all depends on the look you're going for. And then I probably should come down in here a little bit more and kind of blend that into where the clouds meet. I don't want to go too close to the clouds because I want to leave some white in there. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I love it. I really, really love how it turned out. So here's my finished page after applying the pastels. And I really love the way that it turned out. I love these pastels. I will um, put a link um, down in the description this is what the box looks like, but I'll put a link down in the description so you all can find those yourself if you would like to purchase them. They, like I said, were not expensive. I don't remember how much I paid, but I know they were not expensive. Okay, so now remember that when you use pastels, you make sure that you apply a fixative so that they don't rub off. You need the fixative so that they adhere to the page and stay. You could always always also use them with your Prismacolors and any other medium or art medium that you're using. But here is the fixative that I use, and there are other brands that make it. Um, if you need me to, I'll link the um, this fixative or another fixative that is good that you could use with your um, pastels down in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and also turn on your bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. If you would like to join us for the color along that is coming up here in the next couple days, we're doing a Christmas in July in my Facebook group and it's going to be very interactive with videos and such. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content like this, please make sure that you do subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I plan to do 
more color alongs like we have been doing, more tutorials. That is basically what my channel is all about. You will get a lot of tutorials and I will do those tutorials all throughout the color alongs I'm doing with my Facebook group. Also, if you are interested in this beautiful book that I colored in, this is The Imaginary World of Jane F. Hankins. I will link her website down in the description so you can get one of these beautiful books yourself. If you would like a flip through of this book, I did a very detailed review and flip through and unboxing of this book in a previous video. So if you're interested in that, if I remember, I'll have the link to that also down in the description for you. So if you need any information at all, always check the description of my videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring!